That's right, you're looking at it. The Senna half helmet with full Bluetooth headset integration. The question is, should you get one? Should you not get one? Is it a cool helmet? I'm here to tell you that and a whole bunch more. You'll definitely want to stick around for this review. This is what I'm gonna do to you. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erlacher here, lawabidingbiker.com. Thank you for checking back in. That's right, the Senna Bluetooth Calvary half helmet. Going to do a complete review. Want to thank Senna very quick for their continued support of Law Abiding Biker Media. And they threw a bunch of these things our way so that we could test them and review them and get the necessary information to you guys out there. So let's dig right into this review. Matte black is this one. Also comes in gloss back. Your choice, of course, multiple different sizes to choose from. And anytime you want to get hooked up with a Calvary helmet or any other Senna product, please consider supporting us if you appreciate these videos. Get it right from our very own store. Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. I'll pop a card right about there. Link in the description below. Big Daddy Kane, who runs the store, is ready to serve you. So you probably see the three bolts here. There's a reason for that. That's right comes with a visor. The jockey visor screws in really easy. Not a fan of these, so tossing that out. And you can just put the screws back in if you don't like just the holes right there. So I was very surprised when I got this out of the box of the weight before I started riding with it. Um, it uh, is very light, actually. It's I think they rated it 2.1 pounds. It's very similar. This is a regular G-Max, maybe just a little bit heavier, but that gives you an idea. Everybody's pretty familiar with these. And this isn't just another chintzy review or unboxing, guys. We actually have had these for months, and we actually went out and tested these in a real world biker environment. We know what they can and what they can't do and what they're capable of doing. That's how we roll here at Law Abiding Biker Media. We don't just wanna tell you about it, we actually wanna experience it and so we can relate that to you guys out there. In case you're wondering, yes, DOT certified this half helmet it is and uh, built very, very solid. You'll notice when you get yours uh, just how quality helmet. That's one of the things I was surprised about is I was thinking maybe it was going to be a cheap, cheaper helmet just so that they could, you know, integrate speakers and Bluetooth system like they did and kind of chintz, go chintzy on the helmet, but they really didn't. This isn't just a good helmet without the Bluetooth. It's even better because it does have the Bluetooth capabilities built in. And of course, as you can see, it does have a Bluetooth module. That is a Senna 10R that they integrated right into this helmet. Again, it comes with it. And then we've also got speakers in here. And let me show you that. I'm just popping, these are called ear pads. You'll actually get, you'll actually get these ear pads and you'll get these ear cups when you uh, get your helmet. It comes with two different styles. I would not necessarily use these. They're kind of worthless, really. You'll definitely want to use the ear pads so you get more sound. Now you guys can see right in there, and of course on both sides, that's where the speakers reside in this helmet, and they shoot down towards your ears, basically, and that's what the ear pads are gonna help us do. And so there's two different ear pads. Yes, for us, they're labeled. That one's labeled L for left, so you know which side it goes on, this one for right. And so basically, if you're gonna do these ear cups, they do go in, and you can see how it directs the sound. These go in the same way as the ear pads, but you're basically trying to bring that sound down and cup it and put it into your ear, otherwise you're gonna lose all the sound from the wind and center realize that, so they made this system right here. So all you're doing on this is these have little ridges on it. You can kind of see how they have ridges and a flap. And basically that's going in right in between the shell and that speaker. And they slide up like so inside the flap. I'll get that out of your way. So once you do that, you're just simply pushing in like so. And you can kind of feel them pop up in there, get them nice and solid. And now that it's in there solid, we can bring this down. And they do have a little strap in them right there. You can bring your 
chin strap. Both sides have this right through like so. And that kind of integrates everything into one nice system there. And these really do, you're gonna need the ear pads, especially if you're gonna be riding freeway to get the most sound that you can get. Now the sound's coming down and it's bouncing right into your ears. And of course, one for each side. There's also built into here, you can feel it. I can feel it right up here. And when you get yours, you'll be able to push up right in there and you can feel it's kind of hard. That is a noise canceling microphone because it is Bluetooth, there's an actual microphone right up in there. While we're talking about the, the structure of the helmet here and kind of how it's set up, it also has a very easily removable liner with four snaps so that you can wash this. So like I mentioned, this is an actual Santa 10R. Uh, they already had the 10R, they just integrated it with this helmet. This video isn't necessarily how to use this. Uh, I will do another video on how to use the 10R and how to sync your phone and sync other helmets and things like that. Um, actually, I'll pop a card right over here, link in the description below too on that video. And that's just how to use the Bluetooth system right here. So you, like I say, you can intercom, uh, has intercom capabilities and you can pair this helmet up, this 10R and this system up with three other cavalry helmets. So up to four at a time. So this plus three other helmets and you can actually talk helmet to helmet with other riders. So like I say, you can pair helmet to helmet up to three other of these. This is another cavalry, and you can talk with riders. Additionally, you can pair it directly with your smartphone via Bluetooth, guys. And so you can listen to all your music um, from your phone into your helmet. Of course, it's got volume buttons over here. You can also take phone calls, and of course, you can give voice commands and tell your phone to dial a certain number and things like that. So fu full functionality, synced via Bluetooth wirelessly, cell phone, smartphone, to the helmet. And don't worry, I'm gonna tell you how all that works, the intercom as far as uh, how well it works and the phone calls and things like that. But first, yes, it works with the Santa FreeWire, guys. I know that's a question. I tested it thoroughly. Number one, make sure your smartphone software is up to date. Number two, you always need to make sure your Senna products, including the 10R here, is always up to date. The software, make sure the free wire is up to date. Senna does a really good job on their website, and I'll put a link in the description below, but you go there, it's very simple. It's a simple desktop application, and you just plug your helmet, or the 10R in this case in, and, and this, the free wire. You always wanna make sure that software is up to date, and with their app, their desktop application, I should say, it makes it super simple, it's super intuitive, but you definitely wanna make sure also that your boombox systems, your Harley Davidson boombox system is up to date. So further on the free wire system, yes guys, this does, like I say, pair, um, no problem. This allows you the Senna free wire, and I've already done videos on the Senna free wire, guys. I will put links in the description below on how you can use this to wirelessly integrate a Senna 20S, in this case, a 10R, directly to your boombox system wirelessly uh, so that you can give voice commands to your boombox and give directions and next track and make a phone call because with the free wire, it allows us instead of going directly phone to helmet, we can actually go from the helmet um, and we can go back and forth from the boombox. This is a wireless transmitter and it will shoot a signal from uh, uh, from the boom box to the helmet and to the helmet to the boom box so we can have that full integration. So I did do a lot of testing um, out on the road with the free wire and I just wanna give you the facts of how it works. And so with this helmet on, of course, it's just sitting on your head and your voice is going up into this microphone up in here. And I was good with the free wire hooked up to my boom box. I was giving voice commands. I was making phone calls. I was giving directions to the GPS unit and saying things like skip or next song, next track, all those commands that we can give to the boombox. I was good and I was riding a Street Glide uh, special with about a 10 inch windshield on it and the fairing. Um, I will tell you that up to about 40 miles an hour, it was good, the boombox was recognizing all that. Anything above 40 miles an hour, of course I could still hear everything because I've got the ear pads on. I could still hear music and all that, but it really didn't like um, and that's not the boom box or the free wires fault. That's just this microphone. It's a noise canceling microphone, but it's still gonna get a lot of wind and it didn't like it over 40 miles an hour. So I, after that, I was not able to give those commands. But again, I could still hear everything coming out of my boom box because that's coming out of the speakers on the side. And I say that's probably fair to say the phone too, um, right around 40 miles an hour if you're just going phone to helmet guys, um, just because the wind cancellation and 
the phone computer software is trying to hear what you're saying and if it's not crystal clear which is not going to be above 40 it has some troubles with that but it certainly doesn't mean that you can't just reach up and of course this is perched up in your biker gripper the number one sexiest sleekest strongest cell phone motorcycle mount on the market guys right up on your handlebars link in the description below um, with that up there that you can't just reach up and dial and then you can have a phone conversation so on the phone conversation I was actually uh, testing that all the way up to uh, 70 miles an hour 75 miles an hour down the freeway and paired directly with my phone or going through with the free wire through the boombox system, I was able to have conversations at freeway speeds and the party on the other line could hear me. Of course, they could hear a little bit, sounded like a little bit of wind um, or clearly I wasn't just sitting in a still room, but no problem, guys. It, and that amazes me, the technology that, that even though, you know, we had a little problem with the voice commands, uh, uh, understandable with the computer trying to hear but the when it's just a regular conversation with another human being to be able to go down the freeway with this thing on um, on a fairing bike of course with a 10 inch windshield that I can have a conversation without a mic we're used to the mic over our mouth on a lot of full face that it was picking it up and I was able to have that conversation now I will say this helmet probably not gonna be great um, for a bike without a windshield or fairing. Um, I have one of those bikes too, and you're just not gonna get, hearing the music, we'll talk about that in a minute, um, and, and just probably gonna be too much wind. This is really more, and uh, honestly geared towards somebody that's kind of on a touring type bike with some sort of windshield or fairing protection to try to cut down some of that wind. So, with that, let's talk about the speakers that I already showed you right up in there. Um, as far as that goes, get over it. It's not going to sound like Beats headphone guys. No helmet system, whether it's full face or half helmet. I think some people try to get these helmets and think they're going to sound with deep bass and full sound. They can't do that guys. Reason is look how thick these are. You can't fit these in a helmet. So because of that, you're going to get sound. You're going to get loud sound. You're not going to get the deep bass and all the highs that you're looking for guys. It is a headset speaker system. But with that said, for what it is, for a helmet, it does very, very well. I was able to, you know, paired with my phone, listening to my music. Um, of course, in town and all that, just fine. You can hear, you don't even have to have the volume all the way up. Um, out on the freeway even, at 70, 75 miles an hour, no problem hearing your tunes. Again, if you're using the ear pads is the way to go. Um, so you're not gonna have any problems there on a fairing bike. Again, if you were gonna use this on a non-fairing bike, probably around town or lower speeds, you would even it would probably even do well on a non-fairing bike. But again, mostly made for touring and you won't have any problem hearing your tunes and or conversations when you're having phone conversations. Yes, exciting, we are giving away multiple Senna Calvary helmets, guys. To get involved, you need to go to the link in the description below, click it, it'll say giveaway, and uh, fill out a couple things, and you will be entered in that. If you're watching the video in the future, the giveaway may be over. So let's talk about the intercom. You can pair this, like I said, with three other helmets, so up to four, and you can have conversations with other bikers. We tested this extensively, and we will say up to 60 miles an hour, you have this helmet on, and literally it's amazing that you can just go down the road and talk. You don't have to yell, but you feel like you wanna yell because the wind's in your face coming around your fairing and all that, but we tried it and you really don't need to yell. Um, and it picked it up just fine at 60 miles an hour. We were, the speakers are good. We were able to have conversations and we were actually quite amazed that we could have a conversation with half helmets going down the road like that. Now, when we bumped it up to 70, 75, yes, we could still hear each other. We did. Uh, it was a little more necessary to raise your voice and you are gonna get more wind distortion. It's not as clear. Sometimes it can get just a little garbly, but that was up at around 75 miles an hour. But again, it's just perfect up to 60, 65 right in there, but there is a line. And of course, if you had a crosswind, again, it's trying to do the noise can canceling microphone. So have reasonable expectations, but it still amazed us at how well it worked. Now, as far as distance goes, I think Senna says 900 meters. If you have this paired with a buddy, 
we find that fair. Um, we tested that a couple times where we went out of range and we would say right at about a half mile depending on line of sight. This is definitely a helmet if you're gonna communicate with other riders, something that you're gonna be riding in a group setting. This isn't something that you're gonna go three or four miles down the road like an FM radio or something like that and be able to have comms. This is gonna be a group riding situation. I will say I don't have a lot of complaints or any complaints about this helmet. It truly for what it is, absolutely blew my mind. They Senna took uh, a good time and, and I expect that from Senna because they're a staple in the industry for Bluetooth motorcycle systems and uh, they don't mess around and they really build quality stuff so I, this falls right in line with what I'm used to seeing from Senna. I will say just a suggestion and it's not anything bad. I do wish if they can add to this it would be just the ultimate helmet and I wish they would just add like this helmet a simple visor that we can pop down and it could probably fit right up front there but that's just a suggestion that's not necessarily a negative ditch the little visor jockey thing put the sunscreen instead um, that's pretty long gonna last you a day two days of ride and listening to music stuff like that it does take about three hours for a full charge I found so right in the back here guys you can see that opens up like so and there's just a little interface in there the charging cable You've basically got a USB to mini USB, and like all Senna's, it goes right in the back there. And yes, this does come with your Senna helmet. Not sure if I mentioned, but it also comes with a protective carrying bag. I do want to mention that this is water resistant. They don't necessarily say it's waterproof, but it is very water resistant. You can ride uh, in pretty heavy rain and not have to worry about it. And if it does get wet, it's just going to tell itself to shut off if it uh, recognizes moisture dry it out and uh, you can fire it right back up. But I don't think you have to worry unless they were just torrential downpours that you'd have to worry about anything. And don't forget guys, these are right now is at the time of this video about 349 for the entire system. That's gonna be standard across online uh, for Senna's map pricing. Um, but don't forget you can get in our store guys and support us, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. Check your size, there's a sizing chart there and make sure you measure your head and uh, it will be true to that sizing chart and you'll make sure and get a good fit on this helmet. And I just wanna reiterate, it's really the capabilities of the helmet are really gonna be dependent on what kind of bike you're riding, how, what kind of fairing, what kind of windshield. I have a 10 inch windshield on a Harley Street Glide. Big Daddy Kane, when we were testing it, was riding his Victory Magnum. I believe he has a 10 or 12 inch windshield. Of course, a taller windshield is gonna be even better than that. A bike without a windshield is gonna greatly reduce the capabilities of this microphone. So I just wanna make sure that you guys understand that. And if you're not familiar, Senna has a beautiful, intuitive app guys that is paired with this headset right now and you can do all kinds of things on it make sure you get the app for iphone and android and if i didn't say it i'll say it again make sure the first thing you do when you get your helmet and your calvary helmet home is hook it up to the desktop application that center provides and make sure you update the software guys all right, I'm absolutely impressed with this thing, guys. Overall, I hope you enjoyed that review. Um, solid, solid piece of technology, guys. Senna's doing things right. I couldn't believe the capabilities of the music, that it sounded so good. Again, they're helmet speakers, but for the helmet speakers, they sounded really good. The fact that I can have a phone conversation at 70, 75 miles an hour, I can have comms conversations going down the road like that, um, just truly amazing because I'm used to having a mic and a full face right up here. And for them to be able to build a microphone to do that, I was really impressed. The build quality of the helmet, again, matte black gloss, all that kind of stuff, guys. Um, I just have no doubt that uh, you definitely won't be disappointed. This is a new addition to our Senna collection. I hope that was the down and dirty information that you needed to know as a day-to-day -day biker out there, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys. That way you're notified. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, guys. Like it, share it with all your friends. I hope you're well. I definitely hope you are out there getting some riding in.